Previously on Danganronpa V3. Oh, I'm back and I'm sipping champagne? What the fuck? What is this? You're not my martini? God damn it, did they reboot my drink of choice? This motherfucker's a spectrum surf! Well, that's here, I'll drink it anyway. And now back to a new killing game. Hello! The Sneako B. Back with some more Danganronpa V3. We last left off, the first person kicked the bucket, and it turned out to be Rentaro, who I definitely did not expect to die. I was expecting him to be one of the, like, the, the remaining survivors, or if he or if he died, it'd be like towards the end, like Kameda, right? But nope, first one to fucking go! That caught me off guard. I, I definitely wasn't expecting that. Just because his story was sort of like, I feel a, a bit like Kiyagiri in that, you know, we didn't know what his talent was. And his personality kind of reminded me a bit of Kameda. So he just seemed like one of those, like, you're going to be a major character who's going to both help and hinder us. And, you know, that kind of thing. No, fuck you, dead. <laughs> I like some of the comments you guys love. Like, when you guys quoted me from a few episodes ago, this guy's going to stick around for a while. He's going to be like the Kameda of the game. Rintaro was like, fuck that. <laughs> Rintaro dies. <laughs> okay, so you guys told me something. Um, fuck me. I wish I... What's the game freaking told you this so it, it turns out you cannot actually progress any of the characters past uh two hope fragments uh so <laughs> basically all those times i spent trying to progress shuichi were complete waste of fucking time god damn it well at least i know it wasn't because shuichi doesn't like me <laughs> i thought like god damn like did they just like up the game it seems like a bit of a jump in like it's like okay i had to get i gave him like one thing he loved and that got him ready for the next one and then it's like three or four things he loves and it's still not enough to get him ready like holy fuck but god damn, i wish the game would tell you that it's like sojiro from persona 5 all over again just like some point be like hey dumbass you're wasting your fucking time you can't do any further damn it but anyway uh so i after editing last episode and having you know thinking on it some um i'm about 90 percent positive that the killer for this is going to be kaide and when i really went back and sort of analyzed what was going on at first i was thinking okay well maybe they're trying to set it up to make us think that possibly think that Kade did it but they're not really though they're not they, if they if they wanted to do that they would have made it more obvious you know had Kade thinking to herself oh crap was this contraption or something that I had set up ahead of time did that uh get me in trouble like you know am I the killer I feel like if the, if it were that obvious then it would be like okay then we're gonna find out it if there's a chance it couldn't have been her and then get her off the thing but i think in this case it's actually we're trying to not make it look like her even though in my opinion it, it still seemed very obvious they had kade do a bunch of seemingly pointless things and let's be honest in these games nothing's ever fucking pointless right so one was me examining the putt ball right like there was really no reason for me to do that there were there wasn't i didn't get any like use of it i couldn't leave the room or meet talk with shuichi until i examined the putt ball um meaning i likely and i actually saw when i went back and looked at that scene th that was also the moment she had a minor freak out where she was like what happens if we confront the the mastermind and they just laugh it off and they don't admit to it or something what are we gonna do and then it says she took what she was holding and put it in her bag and at the time she was holding the puff ball still i think that's when she she must have gotten the idea this might not work so the only way to really seal the deal and save all of us is to kill the mastermind and the other thing again was her rearranging the books up there again that ended up being no reason because right she didn't put the camera or anything up there so what other purpose could it be and it's because it was to set up her sort of rube goldberg-esque contraption probably to kill the mastermind if it doesn't end up being her then hey I, you know fucking fuck me right but i'm like 90 percent sure it is she even said at one point you know like i like those rube goldberg contraptions but she wasn't referring to the thing that she and shuichi were doing with the camera she was referring to whatever thing she's probably working on so what i anyway what i think she did there's a point where she looked at one of like those big heavy books it's gonna come into play in somehow right i, I imagine i don't know maybe like she somehow made the book open up and then drop the the putt ball or something that was inside of it i do have one a good idea though i believe uh in order to get retaro near where the camera was and the, where he where he died where the putt ball came down i believe she turned the flashback on on the camera so when he opened the door he she saw the camera flash in the corner of his eye he was like what was that goes to examine it just to stand right under the spot where the putt ball would come down and hit him in the head as for how the putt ball got like started moving i'm not quite sure but i but it's gonna have to do with the arrangement of the books and likely maybe that heavy book she was looking at earlier. I'm a little disappointed only because I, I don't think I've ever been this sure of that somebody did something in any Danganronpa game. Like maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, Solis, I guess. But even then I wasn't like positive. I was just like, oh, that seemed kind of suspicious. Like Solis was trying to turn us off the case or something. And even the thing with Leon, like I only sort of got it after I actually like 
saw that clue and was like, oh, it's just Leon upside down. But this one is just like, I haven't even done the, started the fucking investigation and I'm already fucking sure about this. It's going to be interesting because uh, if it is end up being her, what will they do exactly? Would they would they actually kill her? And if it if they did, what would that mean? Will we will we switch perspectives to a different one of the other students or something? I guess maybe maybe Suichi since we've been walking around with him like this whole time. I mean, I guess I love Suichi, but I love Kade too. I, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be really sad. That's for sure. I, I don't want Kade to die, but I but I'm pretty sure. And it, it's it's some fortune too because she wasn't she she was doing this for good reasons, right? She wasn't trying to really like kill any of her friends. She wanted to she wanted to prevent their deaths by getting rid of the mastermind. At least that's my thought. I I think this is gonna be a pretty tragic one though. I'll be curious to see, though, how she's going to play this, right? How is she going to act during the investigation? She's, I think she's going to be focusing mainly on trying to find the mastermind while everyone's trying to find the killer. And uh, that's probably how the trial is going to go as well. But anyway. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have a little look-see. Hmm. Pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rentara's body? Uh, um... Yes. If we want to find clues, we have to. But it's too much for you, Kati. You don't have to, okay? No. No. It's fine. I can do it. My mind was set, and I started to walk toward Rintar's body. Last time I saw Rintaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rintaro die? Huh? Wh what do you mean? Di die here? Remember. I mean, if Rintaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? Again, yeah, I think... He, she turned the flash on the camera, I believe. There's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Uh, uh are you okay? I've gone pale. But I guess that's normal. He had to investigate a body after all. No, it's not. No, it, it's totally gonna be her. He's thinking, oh, it's because of the dead body, but it's, she's really like, like, oh, fuck. Body of someone who was alive talked to us a while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rintar's sake. But so we also so we can avenge him, and so we can protect everyone else. We have to feed the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey, I'm curious, like, if any of you guys like felt the same way when playing this this early on, where I'm so certain, so so early. I mean, it is sort of subverting our expectations in that it would, if if it is, we'd be killing off a, a main protagonist, the person that we're controlling. Usually, they're like immune to this stuff, right? But if that is the case, I just wish they made it less obvious, you know. Oh, well, what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh. What? Yeah, that's right. Reaction voice? You think so? That's wrong. You don't get it, do you? You might be right, but... What the fuck is this supposed but... to be? Hey, move the right joystick. I can... Reaction voice. I just, like... I, like, move my control a little bit and I actually bumped into my right stick and it... Yeah, that's right. What the hell? Is this playing to something? You don't get it, do you? You, you don't get it, Shuichi. You just don't get it! I'm the killer, probably, maybe! Kade, I'll help you any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective, after Jeez. all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Uh, right. Oh, it was hurt, too, because they're, they're so buddy-buddy, possibly more than that, Kade and Shuichi. Like, I can only imagine how Kade, or Shuichi would react to her grub. Uh, being found to be the killer. Hmm. Um, I know we need to examine the body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay, I can do it. So would you so no hesitation as we began to examine Rintaro's hmm. body. There's blood on the back of his head. Looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with a blood force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so, we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yes, for now. So which is stuck his hand into Rintaro's head hole into his pocket. <laughs> huh? Hmm, his brain seems to be okay. Let me put it back. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, um... Checking what, what he has on his person. Might be a clue. We're going to Deuce, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. Hmm. How can you say that with this with so much confidence? Come on, Cody, pull yourself together. Hmm. Rintaro had this his in his possession the key to his room in the student handbook monopad. The mod pass is definitely his, and it's the exact same model as ours. Um, he didn't have a key card on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh, then Rattar really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he wasn't the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. 
What do you guys also sort of point out how sort of flawed this plan was really be to begin with? The fact that someone opened the library shelf, the secret shelf, doesn't necessarily mean that they're the mastermind. It, it could just be like us, where we sort of stumbled upon it. So the fact that we had set up all these sensors around the bookcase moving, it, it just, it didn't necessarily mean that we were going to get the mastermind. It could just been someone else who stumbled across it. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have to come here without the key car card key. So with what we know now, this is the, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Tara here if he wasn't the mastermind? Tara's belongings. Oh. I kind of figured the blood spatter might be something. Oh, I'm not trying to leave. I'm just... Oh. Bloody putt ball. Bloody shot putt balls on the ground. Could it be... The shot putt ball. Could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. It's the exact same one I was holding a while ago. Oh, that's interesting. There's blood all over it. Hmm. It's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. We have to be fairly strong used as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Are you okay? Kade, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, they're they're trying to be sort of coy with it, but I just now that you like it's 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 clicked mm. in my head, I can see her reactions differently, you know? It's not because it's a dead fucking body, it's cause oh I it's a dead fucking body, it's someone I kill probably! Someone's bothering me. Why did Ritar come to the library? It seems like he's not the mastermind. Re what reason did he have for coming here? Uh, I'm guessing it's something to do with what Rintar mentioned earlier. He's gonna end this game, right? It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about end ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible. He noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. Huh? What? Uh, um... And I've come to the same conclusion we did. The mastermind would would come here. Um, you mean he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. Um... We could have worked together. <laughs> Aw. Collapse of the four, crushed by the weight of my frustration. Fuck! I did fucked up. No. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. Just like we were! <laughs> Damn it, we're kind of stupid, aren't we? I have you, Kaede, but Rintaro couldn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered to me a hand. He took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember. <laughs> Get in close! Kaede, let's go. Can't waste time now. You're not gonna give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. Oh, it's so sad. Like... I love Kaede and Shuichi, and I love them together, and I don't want either of them to die or get hurt. I must protect them! Go over here, Nico! No! No, they're mine now! He's right. I can't, give, I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Huh? Shuichi's so right. I can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. I have to continue the investigation. Gotta find the mastermind. Kaede, I think I know something that'll make you feel better. Well, what's that? You wanna smack the books like you always do? <laughs> Yes! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, you're right, Shuichi! Yeah, who cares if we're kind of desecrating a crime scene? Just have at it! Let all your emotions out, Kaede! Yeah! Out of my way, Sumugi! Also, by the way, you guys can point out, it's it's Sumugi, not Sumigi. She's turning into the most Origi of the skate! Or the Sheena, or the 8 million other things I can't pronounce correctly! Oh, well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. <laughs> Not cool, dude. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Huh? Ah? Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting. S afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But. But with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? Yeah, I'm afraid it's gonna be Kaede. I love her so much. Oh, we haven't got a chance to make out yet. <laughs> Let me just warn you. The way the world works is those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. Actually, yeah. I, Suichi's gonna slowly piece together that it was Kaede that did it, probably, right? But he's gonna be afraid to say anything during the trial. Because he loves her! In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. 
I mean, the testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. I just real. I didn't. I guess because I hadn't really seen his lower half of his body very well, but uh, he's actually got like a, a like a cuff and chain on him, like it used to have a ball and chain connected to him, or maybe uh, chaining his legs together. The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way, you guys set up a security sensor on top of the bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, should still be there. Let me check. She wish she climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember, it's still here. Should take it down now. Oh. Moving it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I turn the receiver off. Huh? You can turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside. I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Hmm, okay. It's the fucking step ladder! The ladder used to reorganize the books on top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here, nope! Nope, has nothing to do with the case! Notice this fucking air vent! Front bookcase. Tons of books are crammed in the bookcase. Very stacked hmm. on top. On top. Seems as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, the books that you you stacked up haven't haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be a major factor against her. I think you can actually you can actually see there's like a a spot. There's like a slot right there. Right? Where I think the ball came down and, and went. Blah, blah, blah. Or maybe maybe the ball was sitting there. I, I don't know. I guess I just gotta talk to, talk to them. But why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood bird? Huh? What? Then. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it's odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True. I wonder what that means. Yeah, so it. And again, it would make sense if it was Kaede because she didn't kill to survive. That's not. She was trying to. Well, she was trying to not save herself, but save everybody. Oh, it's supposed to make it so it's gonna make it so tragic. That's true. Can't think of several possibilities what the worst case scenario is. The Goblin's objective wasn't to survive. It was, it was to, to kill everyone here, okay? Not quite. Huh? E everyone? That is no, correct. Shuichi! That's not why I tried to do it! I mean what? That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class um. trial. But does this seem like a bit of a stretch to do you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing all of us does seem like something the Mastermind would do. Yeah. We cannot lose this fight, and on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Okay, I'm seeing now. If we're thinking along those lines, then yes. Then then we're going to be focusing on the Mastermind for probably the majority of the trial and the case. And until, yeah. Okay, I've seen where this is already going. I don't know if anyone's going to say this like, it's like, oh, Nico's bullshit powers activate. I don't know, this just seems very obvious to me. I, I, think, I think a lot of people probably figured this out the same way I did. Trashy skank! Don't talk to me, crotchish! Fuck busy! <laughs> me, you continue ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. What's that controller for? Ah. Dun da da da! It's a pro! Um. Brown? Um. I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. <laughs> if it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the, the Gengalian Alliance to destroy humanity! <laughs> That's, uh. Is that an Evangelion reference? I. I... I don't know. I never really watched uh, our Evangelion. I have no idea what this weep's talking about. <laughs> Wait a second. The controller is. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now you're getting. Now you're getting a dick cheese. Oh god, she's like, she's so gross. She's just the grossest fucking shit. Like, oh my god. Like, I genuinely can't believe this shit got like. They localized it this way too. Like, making it just the fucking foulest thing. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Miu Iruma. They just have these in the warehouse, though. I remember seeing them. It's a drone. A drone, you idiot, with a N in it. I told you that's a drone. God, you're the you're supposed to be the ultimate inventor. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> when did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. Why? Because I'm fucking bored! I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, 
I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Oh, all right. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> <laughs> Drafting a floor plan with photos. Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! Out of my god dang way! Only problem is, I'm not used to offering a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. Shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. Uh, bitch, I can't do shit about that. Just call me tiny tits and shut up. You're so full of shit. Although you did text you guys tell me, apparently out of the entire cast of all the Danganronpa games, Miu apparently has the biggest boobs. Really? Even bigger than Junko's, who were like fucking water balloons? I mean, kind of like, I mean, she's covered in her school outfit, but she's, girl's got some meat on her, okay? jeez. Oh, girl's thick. Shut up, you! I just swim bigger than you nasty cow hunters! Oh! Yes! Oh, here we go. She's gonna cave in, right? Oh! Yes! I love that! Oh! I wanna see more of that, Kati. Shut up, you stupid nasty slut! Oh my god, you cow hunters! What did I do? Otters! Uh, oh my god. Actually, you're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Yeah, you stupid slut. Get down and suck my feet! <laughs> Oh my god, it's awesome. Oh, that was fucking epic. Cut a savage shit. Smoogie. I don't know who killed Rintar, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us. This happened. That motive he gave us is part of it. That's... So is that strange music. Actually, I think of it. It seems like all the girls in this in this class have, like, massive... Even, like, Smoogie here is pretty, like... Like, ah. Uh. For this reboot, we're going... We, we need more boobs, guys. More bigger boobs. No more of that Sayonji shit, all right? We need... The bigger, the better. The motive he gave us is part of it. And so is this strange music. Yes, I hypnotized you. Ba, 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 ba. the music at such high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rintaro. So... Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the masterminds. So this is the last murder that ever happens here. Just have to. Mm. I think I think Shuichi is kind of suspicious of it. It doesn't want to be. In the hell is it? Hey! Arrgh! Eat shit! Drone! I'm gonna smack me use nasty cow letters! Fucking bitch! Don't talk to me, you ugly skate! Quit all right about this agent! Oh, uh, damn it! Shots out of focus again! Fuck face blur in the lens, bitch! Man, she turned back around fast. Will plan might be useful investigation, but not be finished. Okay. <laughs> I won't expect too much. Oh, I didn't talk to Shuichi. I haven't, I haven't actually talked directly with him. Um. Ikade, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah, yeah I remember. Um. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. So we should move the bookcase to reveal a hidden door. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, you let go of the bookcase and after waiting for a bit, just close on its own. Ah, I see. Don't want to keep that thing open! Oh, it closed on its own. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closed after a period of time. Makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has to, has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Okay. But wait, the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door. Uh, oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase has closed itself is because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rintaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, yeah. Dust on the card reader, remember? So we should move the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. All right, let's see. We lean in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. So the card reader wasn't used. It means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um, then the one who moved this moving bookcase at the time was... Rintar himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Okay. I see. 
I think the mastermind is the culprit. Um, so we just need to find the clues that connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way, too. Yeah, he, he is suspicious. Um, Kade, I think we've investigated the... <laughs> We're seeing a lot of ellipses for both Kade and Shuichi. We've investigated the entire library now. We still don't know anything, anything yet. I feel like we don't, didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. Most important piece of evidence will be these photos. Once we get those, but then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Hmm. Keep investigating? Yes, yeah, so I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Murtar was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Mm-hmm. The six people that went down to the, the basement with Rintaro. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Hmm. Should have been in the game room along with Rintaro. So that's about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. All right. Hello? Oh, there's Maki. Um, Maki, you were in the game room when Murtar was killed, right? Hey. What were you all doing down here? Murtar was with you, right? What'd you do? <laughs> ah! hey. Am I a suspect? Oh. So she's such a strange expression. It's like, her mouth is always sort of wavy looking. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. You, just, you should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Huh? Because someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, yeah, that's why it happened. You don't know. So trust no one, Kaide, or you'll lose. Got it? She's a cold stone fox. Can't get read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, and she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But <laughs> I'm just super chill about everything, even around kids. But why were you all here in the first place? <sighs> it was Kaido's idea. He suddenly wanted to get a strategy, hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. <laughs> Pu puffy face. <laughs> Squeezing my ponytail. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful, uh, useful in a fight. <laughs> I'm not that good of a fighter. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're fucking crazy. I know it. Seven people. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rontaro. <laughs> Angie, really? <laughs> and Himiko could use her magic power. If only we had ethers here to fill her MP up. But um, I'm pretty sure those seven would be all be uh, useful in a fight, though. Let's see. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to a two would be useful. <laughs> that was funny. Huh? What about you, Maki? Why would, did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. I. <laughs> but wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm squeezing my boobs while I'm digging the puffy face. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe she's playing with a little bow on her. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> just kind of like, I'm kind of like, mm. <laughs> So, like, just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? Jeez, it does sound like something Kaido would do, though. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? Beats me. Maybe Kaido figured it would be harder for Monica to find us here. In other words, it was just coincidence? Uh, um... What was Simtar doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. Then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kato and Tenko went looking for him, so we fin could finish the meeting before time expired. That must happen around... Dead. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. The time is perfect. We should join our stra strategy meeting. Kati is definitely welcome to join! Um... Then did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Huh? And G. Himiko and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonto never joined us. Huh? Huh? Gonto wasn't with you guys? He must be the killer! Gonto did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Hmm. Who's in the AV room by himself? Ew. Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same oh. way. No! Gonta never killed nobody! Gonta coolest Tarzan ever! What, uh, what other two? Me. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Puffy face! Maki's account, okay. Still thinks to investigate? Uh, oh, is that what this goes? Shuichi. Shuichi, the AV room is, is the, that room in the back, right? Could it be... Kade, have you never been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. There's a fucking Matakuma doll in there. Oh! Oh, everybody's back here! Wait! Wait! Gonto not murder anyone! Come on, man. I told you, we're not not saying you did. Just want to talk. No. No, it's, it's him, alright. He's got the face of a killer. <laughs> hey! No! 
Don't judge Garter by his outside, but inside Garter gentleman. Ah, Garter's the biggest fucking teddy bear. Until he gets, you say you don't like insects and he murders you. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, hey there, Garter. Hey, just trying to ask, ask him. Eh, just tell us why we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Mm -hmm. Or are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? <laughs> Garter, not not no. Uh, no. <laughs> Just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um, I think your questions are the problem. Mm. Well, I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each one, and at one each and one apple. Oh, it's totally off topic, Kimiko. Do your math home do your yeah. own math homework. Hey Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Mm. But what were you doing here alone? Um Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not be much help, because he not smart. Bugs are. So, Gonta in here alone, watching Bug Movie. <laughs> oh, you're watching, they have Bugs Life here? Why didn't you tell me I love that movie? Huh? Just got that funny talking caterpillar guy with a really thick accent. It was it a German accent? Yeah, he had a German accent, I think. He's like, hello there. He sounds like Clavia. Um, what? How does that Honest. help? Bug Movie filled Gonta with fight. Made Gonta ready to fight Ronakuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. You do you, bro. But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? It's my magic. It's my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Ah! Mm -hmm. With big tits. Huh? Gonta no can become girl Gonta. The Gonta never become a gentleman. <laughs> I'd be gentle lady and that doesn't roll off the tongue as well. Please. No, can you just shut up for a second? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're making this harder than it needs Is to be. Is that all right? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta. Gonta, just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That is really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys don't gonna believe Gonta, huh? Cause Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pull up Kazuichi. Kind of weird looking expression. Ah. Calm down. You're making a really scary face. How can this be? Cause Gonta feels so useless. Hmm. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. No. Kinda, let's investigate this room a little more. I'll need to verify Gaunt's alibi. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Video rack. A lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh, oh, The Legend of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. That's the one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? Huh? The Legend of 1900? The film one. Rewards for its phenomenal music. U.S. audiences were moved to tears. Really? Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. <laughs> Shut up! What else do they have here? Hmm. Grabbed a movie at random, and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. <laughs> um, body movies over there? <laughs> um, um, nothing suspicious over here. Let's go look somewhere else. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? Is it porn? <laughs> That's wrong. I said it's nothing. So like here, put a bunch of, um, bunch of, ah, bunch of movies. I, I mean, I mean movies. Wait, Connie, you're panicking. It's okay. If you found a clue, you can tell me. Here, let me look. <laughs> no, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, No, don't come over here. A couple of minutes later, <laughs> we were both looking down at the floor with beat red faces. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right. I told you. Sorry. Let's investigate something else. <laughs> the only boobies you get to see are mine, Shuichi! Wait, huh? Yes, I meant exactly what I said! There's a screen for the projector, but the projector is turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long, as a long pull of sorts. Um, hmm? So what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> so does he say some weird things, Shuichi? Just be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Uh, you think so? Sorry. The tree is me talking to myself. <laughs> uh, okay, is there actually a Monokuma doll in here? All right, Gonta. What happened, Gonta? Gonta. Gonta watching Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta need focus to fill up with fight, so Gonta lock door. Mm, this sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Ah! Huh? Uh, if Gonta naked in public, then Gonta never become gentleman. Ah, uh, jeez. Mika, shut up! Stop saying ridiculous things! Honest! Gonta just want to protect everyone, really! Why? 
Why? No one would believe Gonta. Gonta feels so pathetic. It's all right, dude. <laughs> Damn. Jeez, I can't believe they happen. that happened right next door to our strategy meeting. Hey, Kaito, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of yours? Gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Huh? What? Am I one of your suspects now? Um, no, that, um, that's not, not what I'm... Nah, it's naturally all suspicious of me. Of course. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but I'm not the culprit. I swear it on the on the universe. Got it. I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything. Yeah. Okay. Then. Well, now that we have the chance, let's look back at the entire incident together. Kaido went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. All right then. Where should we start? Hmm. After Kaido and I set up the cameras, we were watching, keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and we saw you guys down go down to the basement. Hey, when did you start asking people to go with you? So... Uh, I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one. We all went, went there together. Okay. And that's when we saw you. You, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Kimiko, and Rotaro. You know... Now I think about it, the monitor the started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Uh I want to confirm what you've told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting and no one went to the library, right? Ah. Yeah, I went straight to the game room, but after, right after we went inside. Golta went, went to, into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah, yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rontaro left to go to the bathroom. But we saw, thought it'd be bad if, if the meeting stopped, so me and Tanko went, went to get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know... However, I can't guarantee Ga Gaunta was here in here the whole time. I see. I see. So we can't confirm Gaunta's alibi yet. Hey! The library's were entrances at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Oh, that's what the... That's what that broken door connects to. It connects to this room, doesn't it? Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Jeez. If that's the case, then there's no way to get out of this room. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found Martal's dead body. Just, just about how it went. Hmm. We didn't learn any new information, though. Come on, man. So I'm not clear to suspicion yet, huh? No. Ah, uh, don't worry. You're not a likely suspect. Dumbass. Hey, that's not something that a detective should say. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, what? Listen up. <laughs> if you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Best get to your satisfied. If you gotta murder my punk ass. If you don't do it, you'll never reach the truth. Rital will die for no reason. Got it. This is where you, you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Shuichi. Yeah. Anyway, if you know something or remember anything, let us know. Of course. Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll best get on my own. My own way. <laughs> All right, here we go. What do you got? Ah, uh, it's such a pain. Gulper has definitely gone to. He's suspicious, no matter how you look at it. No, no, it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Mm -hmm. Eh, really? Even so, it's definitely gone. <laughs> He's suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Mm. Um, no. Why don't you help him investigate before you decide that, Himiko? What a pain. What a pain. Investigating is a pain. God's is suspicious, no matter how you look at it. <laughs> got it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I care. Just shut up and go. <laughs> nah. It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. To the dark side. Ah! I'll turn into Lord Voldemort and lose my nose. Please. Stop being a lazy little shit and put some actual effort into solving this case. Cody, are you all right? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little high strung right now. Okay. I'm a little high strung. All right, the back sliding door. The door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Um, is this connected to the You're hallway? Right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. Sign door. I'll open it. I tried to open it, but... Ka-chunk. Huh? Huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um, it's like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but this was not possible to use this door. No, no. no. If it's gone, to, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. He can manhandle that door. He's strong enough to throw the super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, I could eat this door for breakfast. Go to never do that. Go to not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast most important meal of any gentleman's day. <laughs> okay. I agree. 
<laughs> huh? Huh? You think Gaga could eat this door? <laughs> no. No, I meant Bra- <sighs> Whatever. N no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that alright? This dust piling up on the railing of the door. The sliding door hasn't moved in a while. <sighs> so then he just forced his way through the gap. Hmm. It's not possible. There may not be enough for space for a baseball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well. If it were thin enough. It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. <laughs> so then he probably used magic to make that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. Wait! <laughs> Do you believe the bullshit that comes out of your mouth? Here we go. Go to no use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. Yeah, fireball. <laughs> Fire style. Kawaii jutsu. <laughs> go to no understand what's happening. You should never, never have anything important to say. We two stop being hilarious what's for five that? seconds. What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Nothing. Just think I want to confirm. I'm gonna try sliding the door one more time. So Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered. I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Hmm? So what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning how? Sliding demon door. Hmm. Then we investigate everything here, too. Mm-hmm. Then what should we do next? Hey. For now, let's ask the other others some questions. There's still people we haven't talked to. Aww. So we done with? We had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this, fucking fake monomy. We've ar we'd already know who the mastermind is. It's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah, yeah you're right. Except no, because we aren't gonna see anybody on that fucking picture. God dang doodlies. I feel like <laughs> I feel like Kaida should know that though too, right? If she really is the killer, she's gonna have to bat my way out of here. Excuse me, Maki. <laughs> Tenko's ready to kick ass! Oh, Tenko, I want to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room. She only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Okay. Mm-hmm. I see. That's right! I knew it! Gonto would be the most suspicious since he looked and slapped stuff in the AV room! Not to mention he's also a male! Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how's your investigation investigation no. been going? I haven't done any investigating! Uh -huh. What? <laughs> degenerate males! Degenerate males! Ah! Hey, degenerate, don't give me that face! I've been doing something else! I've been beating off in my room, yeah! I've been watching Angie! Huh? Watching Angie? Listen up! We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone! I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie? Um... I don't want to expect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here! Okay. Also, I find Angie kind of hot. Okay, we get it. You like girls, Jesus. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. What? what why do you keep making that weird? What, what is that face even supposed to be? Mm. Oh, she does not look happy right now. Is that what that's supposed to? I, I can't like look at that face and have any idea what that means. Ugh, degenerate males. Degenerate males. Okay. I feel like you're on right now. You're you might be one of my least favorite characters out of the group. I know you're just kind of annoying. Oh my. Can be, I guess, annoying, but he's also kind of funny at least. We well, get it. You don't like dudes, all right? Maybe I should hang out with her. Maybe I'll, maybe I'd like, I'd like her more then. Get to understand why the hell she hates guys so much. Don't act so high mighty with me, you face generate. No. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. Shut up, Tenko. Seriously. I'm gonna cry at you. <laughs> okay, okay. I do like you though. You're funny. You're funny as shit. Info, you're a little goofy. And wearing a bikini for some reason. You're not gonna investigate, Angie? I... Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua. Amen. Oh, Atua, please let Rintara enter heaven and safe and sound. Hey. I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Hmm. Rintara died in such a gruesome way. We'd be able to go to heaven in peace. It'd be nice if we could. It'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. <laughs> Sounds like a credit card rewards program. <laughs> Hello, people. All right. <gasps> Kaide, Suichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement. It was close to the library, too. You're right. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time, until the receiver went off. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Got a classroom, okay. They might be suspicious of Suichi at one point then, right? Because he did leave. Hey. 
that all you want to ask? Um, oh, may I ask you one more question, specifically about that vent? By the way, it appears to be connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching the classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we were here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kind of st stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory bank. Really? I'll be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. <laughs> it is necessary so that we may find the truth. Hmm. Kipo, you totally sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. <laughs> Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. A past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? <laughs> Alright, what about you, Kyo? Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? Huh? How'd you know? You see. My appearance and actions as far as just I'm someone who would commit mur a murder. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's self-aware. <laughs> well. So, to briefly state the truth. When the Barty Discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Ah, yes. The other people there with me were Miu, Kurumi, and Sumugi. The monocups prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as... Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkid's birthday cake. Or some such. Mmm! <laughs> oh good, they actually did make us food! Mm. I was getting to wonder if we ate anything here! That pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. Hey! And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that me was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Sumugi left to use the restroom. Mm, the restroom? Huh? Interesting. Well, Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She should have. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone. Uh, um. <laughs> S someone else? But who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll, t I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. Okay. Thank you, Kyo. Oh, <laughs> it's already dusk. You are bored, aren't you? <laughs> Kibo again? Hey. Hey, Kibo. What were you? Oh, oh, I guess I hadn't confirmed that yet. What were you doing, and where, and where during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, my alibi. Oh, what, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Scanning database. Well, what the? Charging! Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? Well... No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Um, so, you don't have an alibi. <gasps> but Ryoma said he was alone in his room, too. Aww. Jeez, what if throw him under the bus? Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? That was not my intention. <laughs> but I see both... Both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. I mean, it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um... Um, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, but you don't need to be so PC. <laughs> Keep us funny. Okay. Put aside the thing about Sumugi. I uh, now we know everyone's alibi. Huh? What about Kokichi? No. Fuck him. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to, to hadn't seen him, so no one could cooperate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's not. That's why you're the ultimate detective, and I'm not. <laughs> I didn't see Kokichi out in the hallway, though, so I'm gonna go talk to his ass anyway. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, you silly goober? I'm talking to me. Oh? Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have been awfully chummy. Uh. I like how we said we we're gonna stick together while we investigated. Like, we shouldn't let anyone go out on their own. And then I'm still out on my own doing my own thing. <laughs> we're so full of shit. Are you alone here, Kakichi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, why? Please. We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Good, I'm glad I brought it up. Was it? Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it right. Hey. Right. Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Right? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that all right? Because I'm the Joshua of the group. Come on! Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time when Rintar was killed? Oh. oh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. Oh, my God. Then I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth. 
I was in the library smashing Rotaro's head. Huh? <laughs> I was like, boom, die, bitch. I don't know what your talent is. You're not going to be a major character. Ah! Hey, let's go around. Take this seriously. Why? Why? Do I really tell you guys what I was doing? Huh? What? Because? If I give you an honest answer now, just be, make everything boring, right? How do I just tell you the class trial? It'd be way more fun. Shit. Chat's gonna be boring anyway, so we have the photo evidence. Stop it. What are you saying? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with That's it. That's wrong. This isn't a game. Ratar was murdered. All our lives are at How stake. Exciting. Exactly, it's a game of life or death. You know, like that song that Nagi sing all the time. Who's Nagi? Oh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I want the class trial to start already. Is Kikichi actually enjoying the situation? Of course he is. Because I'm the ultimate douche nozzle. Uh, um. Hey. Hey, Samugi. I need to ask you something. Uh, um. <laughs> it's like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, but there's no excuse to give up. That's no excuse to give up. Grab the hem of Samugi's skirt and begin to lift it slowly. <laughs> Huh. We're gonna lift your skirt, Samugi! You okay with that? Uh, wait, cutting! No! <laughs> Better talk, or I'm gonna lift your your skirt first so we can see! Uh, then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your, your head so everyone can see your panties! <laughs> <laughs> Samugi does not give a shit. You just strip her naked. I don't give a fuck. I understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, took you long enough. Oh. Well, I can't let Suichi's innocent eyes get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm not innocent. I mean... I mean, yes, I am. I mean, no, no they won't get dirty. <laughs> no, please, keep going, God, I turned my mind. Are you saying you've been, you've seen dirtier, Shuichi? I only saw your panties earlier, remember? Did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just going to cut to the chase, since you're the ultimate cosplayer. That means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? <sighs> oh, so that's what you, what you think of me. Since we're in the situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible. I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Um. Can't? Isn't it easy just to wear someone else's clothes in a disguise and- You can't! Cosplay is in a disguise! Oh. Ah, sorry! <laughs> I guess. Well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show you. Um. Show me how. Come here. Come on, Kaede. Uh. Oh, oh, wait! Uh. What's she doing? Samugi, Samugi grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. All right, let's get naked. Um, are you gonna punch me or, or tie me up? Hey now! Hey, hey now! There's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey! Now hurry up and take your clothes off! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I fucking knew it! Just gonna put her in a huh? goofy outfit. What? Why? Uh, uh, because I'm gonna cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Huh? But right? C come on! Come on! Hurry up! Huh? What? I slowly undressed and had my clothes to Samugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my yeah. clothes. Okay, now you can look. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's, she's totally red. A gross, bumpy rash has spread across Sumugi's body. Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. <laughs> oh my god, was she like super like nervous about it? Uh, yeah! This isn't cosplay of the spiky headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is Cospox, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. This is the price for my power, the equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Cosplox? That sounds like a bullshit. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Uh, okay, that I can't get be a real it. thing. Change out of my clothes already. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Change our clothes and return to the library where Suichi was waiting. I kind of thought Kaede would dress up like Sumugi or something. <laughs> what happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh, Sumugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand since you saw the Cosplox box, right? <laughs> Cosplox, it can't be. That's not real, right? There's no way. Kaede, any cosplayers out there tell me that's just fucking real? <laughs> Don't you lie to me. Cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe life into characters, so it's like you're summoning them. Meh. Oh, I thought for sure she's gonna say cosplay is love, cosplay is life. <laughs> it's like summoning them. Mm. From fiction to the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. Um. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the world of wild world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay someone who exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. 
I, I really didn't need that long explanation. <laughs> Your gross pink bumpy body was enough for me. Bing bong! Huh? huh? This chime! Is time up? Uh, you bastards! Uh, 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 I'm getting antsy! It's time, you bastards. Time for the long way to class trial. Not that. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Uh, uh, that of uh, hey, does my face look weird to you? Does my face always look weird to you? <laughs> so long, farewell! What is going on with me lately? Uh, what was in that honey? I don't understand. Does honey make bears drunk for some reason? Hey, share that switchy. The pictures have finally been developed. Come on, let's let's go. Come on, get a move on. Uh, wait, Kaede. Wait, you're too fast. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. Couldn't stay put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Except, was it? No one else is gonna be in it. I fucking know it. Nobody's gonna be there except for fucking Rintaro. Nobody. I ran full sprint to the warehouse. Wait. Uh, wait, Kaede. She gets so worked up. Oh, jeez, you're fast. Jeez, I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rising Shiner sign. You sure about that? <laughs> I knew we'd be hearing that line a lot this game. Oh, you came. We're intruding. Shut it, shut it. Came to see, see you, Tuts. You're as lovely as always. Oh, oh Minosuke, you're such a flirt. Oh, may I join you for a drink? What are you saying? Drink as much as you want. I got cash to burn. <laughs> And then you. <laughs> the hell? Like, excuse me, can we get a bottle here? <laughs> ah, this is great. Oh, hey, how long are you guys gonna do this for? Just oh. <laughs> take these. <laughs> Why do I have bumps in my face? What did I do? <laughs> this, all the photos, they're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. Dead. Dead. Oh, no. Dead. <laughs> you dumbass. I'm so rich. What a journal, what's the journalist gonna do about it? Other than that's what. By the way, Monopoly. Wanna get out of here after your shift ends? Do you, I want a fancy steak dinner. I don't understand what happened to uh, Monosuke. <laughs> what, what? What's your name and age? Home district salary? Do you have another job? America's coming out my nose. Huh? So long. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Off at uh, first! Um, anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah, but yeah, finally. Everybody's here, okay. Um, Kaidi, are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. It's going to be so right. awesome. Watch it totally be me, guys. Wouldn't that be amazing? All right, let's take a look. Um, so look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope says front entrance is a total of four pictures. First picture. Oh. Uh, that's when we arrived at the, the library, so took a picture then. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, gang! I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Yeah, it's right full with found Rotala's body. <laughs> that's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. Rest assured, we do not care. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Uh. Um, this is... Is this... It's a picture of us running to the library if we were tank of scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show the next picture. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh. It seems as if... This is everyone who else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Meaning he must come through the other door, like more than likely. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. That was a pretty good quality on a <laughs> on one of the cheap little cameras. So we got there a bit late. You know. Hey, these are all the pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. There is one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at that one. Uh. Oh. Hey. Huh? Shuichi? Ah. Oh. Uh, sorry. It looks like I tri tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the camera. What do you say? Uh, um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that'll help us either. Or does it? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now I'm not really getting anything. Oh, that was nothing. Mm, camera point at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. 
Well, I guess I guess they're coming in at some point. Cause got bad mm. truth bullets. Neither Rintar nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in the photos. Hey, did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance then. Yeah. Only two photos were taken by the camera point at the rear entrance. Let me see the first picture. Uh. uh. Yep. Rintaro! There we go. What's he holding? Is he holding a picture? Or is that his, his monopad? I knew it. So Rintaro went in through the rear entrance. Perhaps no one would see him. I see. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered. But that does not appear to be the case. If so... So that means he was killed in the library after going there of his own will. Yeah. A anyway, let's move on to the next one. They must show the mastermind. Uh... Oh. Huh? huh? It's just fucking Shoichi again. Is there anything in this one? Sorry. Uh, sorry, me again. It's from when I was moving the camera. Ah, uh, one attention hog. <laughs> he had no choice. To remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. Sorry. Um, that's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. Okay. He's definitely carrying something. Looks like a picture. Huh, go what culprit not in rear entrance photo either. Why? What's this mean? You're not in either the front or the rear entrance pictures? Uh, yeah, it's pretty odd. Why is there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Hey, Shuichi, do you think that's weird? <laughs> no, because I think he might have done it. What? Uh, Nothing. Um, Let's look at the pictures from the hidden camera door. That might tell us something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The camera should capture the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. I'll be actually be curious. I'm going to see. Will it maybe be able to detect a uh, a flash? Like a, that the flash had gone off? Like the room will be lit up? There were two photos. The first one was. <gasps> yup! Call it! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, I called that shit so good. I knew it. Mmm! On this shit today, guys! Yeah! Feel good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that that was what got his attention, and we're totally see that. You can tell by the shadow and just the way the, the room is lit up. Oh, Rintaro! Is he actually moving it? I thought you just, I thought you just pulled a switch and it opened by itself. Hmm. But if Rintaro was the only one who moved the bookcase, then oh. he must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into gone into the hidden door? Let's see. Yes, that is a possibility. I understand. For now, let us see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? I hope it's not my face again. Yeah, here it is. Oh! Huh? Yep. What? Yep, so he, he got distracted, and then he went over, and I guess he caught another picture of him. He's like, what is going on over here? Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, he is. He's holding his monopad. That's, that was one was in his left hand. I can see, now we can see it clearly. What? Ah, uh, huh? What's Rinta doing? Yeah. It's like he's searching, for, reaching for the camera, and he's trying to remove uh, it. Ah, I did know something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so... In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. Hmm. But that would mean that Rentaro noticed it. He saw a hidden camera? By the way... Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved. So why did the sensor activate? I don't get it! Who cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? It seems as if... This last photo must have been taken shortly before Rintaro was killed. However... If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, it's still... it's still like on it. I'm like 100% certain. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? I say playing dumb! Yeah. door photo's been added to the truth bullets. Saw the photos, so we gained no new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking waste! Why? Did she develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones who showed the culprit. Yeah, I'm just gonna show up now, right? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> How rude! I developed all the film that was I was given. I swear by my old mighty daddy that I did. That's me! You bastards! You bastards! These, those are all the photos from the hidden cameras. So relax and get to do sing. Do it now! Don't screw like around. a foul mouth monomy. Is that seriously all the pictures? You gotta be you gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how did they kill Rintaro? Eh, mm -hmm. ah, 
That's just supposed to be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Oh, man. I've only been slacking off because I thought this photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. Should have been helping us investigate. By the way. Oh, by the way. Hmm. Retara has monopad the whole time, didn't he? So, do you think he think anything was in it? I do not agree. His student note handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. Well, I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I inspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about oh, it. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Like, he's in every pockets or something. Are you okay? Kade, are you okay? Uh, Why? Why aren't they in the pictures? The mastermind had these photos that would have sold everything. So, why the hell? Uh, um... Kaede! No, I'm sure the mop had something that has to do with something. I'm not really sure. Some... All right. It's time for what you've all been waiting for. The class trial. Oh, fucking goody. I mean, maybe some a message or something that brought him to that room. I, I don't know. Please assemble in front of the shrine judgment in the courtyard remember that red door surrounded by plants it's just on the other side okay oh where the fountain is right from there you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial i'm just bet there's gotta be an elevator right <laughs> oh oh god you guys remember dog rope two when that fucking elevator came out of the Came out of the floor when, when everyone was like trapped in that one room. <laughs> it just came, like it was a giant Monokuma head just came out. I was like, ah! oh, I love that part. It's kind of the shit out of Hachime. It was awesome. <laughs> See you all there. It's gonna be beautiful. Huh? Time already. That is correct. Seems we have no choice to continue this discussion at the class <sighs> trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. What a pain. What a pain. Me neither. What a pain. I'm actually wondering, maybe, maybe there's a message in there like sent by Monokuma, because like he was aware of what our plan was, and he he sent him there to get killed by Kaede's trap or something, you know? Like, oh, those motherfuckers are there and turn one on me. Well, guess again, bitch. <laughs> ah, what are you scared? If you see like you, nothing to be scared of. You're nothing. No. You're nothing but garbage, all of you. You'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. She exposed the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. Then everything, including this killing him, will come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Got it. It's fine, the mastermind. It's a man. It's beaten to death. Jeez. Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard. Oh, Shuichi, though. He's. Oh, no. Are you okay? Kade, really, are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. Then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Shuichi. All right? Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? God damn it, Kade, what have you demon done? I hope Kade sings us a song, though, when we go down. It's the red door, right? Hey, Akade, I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit, but the mastermind as well? Huh? huh? Isn't that what you told me, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yes, but it's just, it was only my deduction. I, I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either, but that's why we need to confirm it. We just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything. Yeah. You're just turning your back on the truth. Oh, I just kind of hit me a bit, too. This is kind of like, in a lot of ways, what happened with that other guy that Shuichi uncovered, right? Like, who killed somebody, but but he killed someone who, like, quote-unquote, deserved it, right? Because they had done something horrible. In this case, it's kind of similar. It's like, it's like somebody else who, their intentions were good. It's like, does he still point out the truth, though? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying his his revenge was in good intentions. Maybe that's not maybe that's not the best comparison, but y you know what I mean. What's the matter? But it, it probably harkens back a little bit. What's the matter, Shuichi? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. Yeah, he he's he's aware of it. Shuichi's a sharp one. <laughs> Oh, 
tall. Wow. I'm so buff. So this is the Shrine of Judgment. Everyone. Careful, everyone. If bad things happen, get behind Gota. <laughs> Didn't give me a piggyback ride. <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Yoo -hoo. Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, it's so fucking annoying. So what are we doing in this class trial here? What? No. No. Monica must have made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monica is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Hold our horses! Here I come, baby! Just gotta take a big look at my big manly bulge here! Maku and Sash gives off such a weird vibe. Here I come! Oh, I'm coming, baby! Here I come! Woo! Huh? What? Well, what? Oh, here we go! Oh, yeah! Oh! Yeah, here comes the Vader! Cause I can't have a Donko Roper game without an elevator to the trial! Oh, that was fancy, look at that! See them huh? graphics? Is this an elevator? This is... Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. <sighs> I don't want to get on it either. Hmm. Stay behind then, though I'm sure that'll be just be the worst for you in the end. I guess. Maki don't give two shits. Yeah, that that's true, I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as the end wall exists, escape's not an option. Hey. You'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise. We're going to escape this place and remain good friends afterwards. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be all right. Oh, God. It's so painful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do it, guys. I don't want to play anymore. Because <laughs> we make such an incredible team. <laughs> hey. Wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. I'm Kaito Momota, <laughs> Ka Luminary of the Stars. Bring it! I'll show them out. Show them out. I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, live! <laughs> Don't you mean die? <laughs> Dumbass. Don't say something ominous like that. I'm ready! Oh, I've come so far already. Just gotta do it. So let's do it! Let's do it! Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Gotta reach out to the truth, baby. Determined, we all step forward. And as I walked walk toward the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. Moon on the Water is the name of the song. Moon on the Water! Here we go. Whoa, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. <laughs> that's so cool. Look at that. Even so. This elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. <laughs> Why do you always have to go to the bathroom, Mirko? You should have gone before we left! By all means, go ahead. Ah! Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. Shut up, or I will slap you in the face with my robot dick. Which I keep a spare of in my ass. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Did everyone hear what he just said? Oh my god. What? My ass can literally open up. I keep things inside of it. <laughs> Stop it! As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Shuichi. Let's make babies. What? Right here in front of everyone. I don't give a shit. I'm kind of scared I might be dead here after this is over. And we got to make blue of God damn it! Nico demands it! Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. Oh, uh, I'm thinking then, if it is... <sighs> I think it's pretty damn clear it's going to be in her. That's why she's even saying this right now. Like, even if the truth it hurts, which in this case, it will very much hurt. If it does end up with Akadi being executed, then I'm betting we'll switch to Suichi's point of view or something. That's the only way I can think of. That or some new character pops out or Kade's ghosts. Like, <laughs> guys, don't worry. I'm a ghost now. Yay. <laughs> Kaida Ghost, do whatever she wants. Kaida Ghost is a living god. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. 
I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. All right, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. I ship those two so fucking hard. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me so I would not turn back. Sing the song, Kaede, do it! Sing the Naga song! After some time, the elevator came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Oh! Why, hello, Bear! <laughs> Welcome to the class trial! Yay! Oh boy, the class trial's finally starting! Finally, a game that actually feels like a game! <laughs> Just as the prophecy foretold! <laughs> Got it? Listen up, from here on, things are gonna get so violent you'll wish you could turn back! No way! That's not true! There won't be any gory violent scenes! I'm positive! This is. This is an authentic replica of a courtroom! <laughs> huh. What bad taste. Oh, jeez. Come on, we've done this shit before. You've arrived on this shit before. <laughs> this is a classic Dongaruba trial. You don't know anything, Ryuma. Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Oh. Psycho of, of course. Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. Seriously, I never get tired of this shit. Never. You're the worst of the worst. You are seriously the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening. It's almost refreshing. So, how do we get this game going? Well, now. There, hey, don't be happy about it, weirdo. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Follow Monokuma's instructions. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is it, guys. Oh, yes, New World Order, V3. I was hoping they'd bring this fucking song back. I was like, come on, they gotta bring this song. Oh, it fills my balls with so much hope. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready, guys, to face the fucking trial of life and death. Follow my instructions. instruction. We headed to our respective podiums. So I walked toward my podium. An image of his body flashed in my mind. Ugh, dead. Rintaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by someone. Some horrible low-life scum. I'll never forgive his killer, that's why. We're going to expose the mastermind in this killing game. That's all I can do for Rintaro now. His killer is in this room with us. The mastermind is controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. <laughs> Don't think I'll ever, I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. It's time so we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear. I must fight to the better end. Trial of Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> I'll face this. Trial of life, death, exception life, exception death, century life, century death, live, 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 woo! I don't remember all the words, but it's fucking deal, I'll be there. Nagi just comes out of nowhere, breaks out a microphone. Hey, everybody, get up! <laughs> oh, god damn it! You just love stealing the spotlight, don't you, Nagi? Get out of this game! You're not in this reboot! Time to save! Oh, this is gonna be painful. I just know it. I'm so positive by now that it is gonna be a being Kaide. Okay, well, we're gonna have to save this part for next time, guys. Ugh. Oh, Ugh, oh, it's gonna suck! It's gonna suck so bad! Oh. I'm glad Shuichi at least didn't die, but I don't want Kaide to die either, and I know, because I also know it's just gonna like shatter Shuichi if that does happen. Fuck. I don't give a fuck about any of these other people, all right? Don't let anyone hurt Kane and Shuichi, all right? I love them. I love them so much. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin for the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Although, prepare yourself because I, I, I predict these next few episodes are going to be really fucking painful. Especially if my prophecy comes to fruition. Jeez. Jesus Christ! Don't do this to me, Dongaro, but it's too early for this! For you to break my fucking soul! Just throw a crazy Kamado moment in, in there instead! I don't give a shit! Just do it! Just don't kill the police! But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.